Hi girls, Megan here with Beautiful by Megan Horst and today I'm going to talk about the quick look that I would do most nights when I was on vacation and, and just the handful of products that I took with me makeup wise um, for Mexico. Enjoy! So when it comes to vacation, I try not to pack too much makeup. I try to just um, keep my look very minimal and um, keep it to like a five minute get ready look because I know by the time we get back from the beach or the pool, everyone's going to be hungry and cranky and I'm not going to have very much time to get ready. So um, the first thing I packed was my uh, tinted moisturizer just to give myself a little bit of coverage and um, I actually put it in a little pot that I had gotten um, from Nordstrom one day uh, as a sample. So it's kind of cool to save these because they come in very handy when you travel. Um, so I've already done my foundation and my concealer. For my concealer I had packed the Tarte so I already have a little bit of this on. I, it really takes um, very little bit and it goes a long way. So um, I have that done and for my eyebrows I packed my Anastasia uh, Brow Wiz which has like a um, twist up pen on one end and a brush on the other, like a spoolie. Um, so I'm going to do a whole video just based on eyebrows and um, I don't want to make this video too long so I've already done those. Um, I do want to tell you though, I, I had read some reviews about um, a Brow Stylist Definer by L'Oreal saying it was very comparable to the Anastasia Brow Wiz and I was super disappointed in this product because it just does not even show up. It doesn't come off. It's just like it's nothing. So do not fall for it and do not buy the Brow Stylist Definer by L'Oreal because it is a waste of money. Um, okay, so next up, what I did end up getting is I wanted to try the um, CoverGirl True Naked Nudes. So this was the one palette that I brought with me on vacation. Um, it's like very good for all different skin tones, so I just wanted to give that a go. And um, and I also brought the um, Benefits Dandelion Blush, which I absolutely am obsessed with. I uh, love it so much. So I will start by putting some of this on. And um, it smells so amazing, and it's just a very um, corally pink peach color. So I'm just, for blush, I just go right in the middle, not too far in. Just right, refreshing on the apples of the cheeks, right in here. It's just a very like fresh look. Uh, actually, this does come with a little brush, but I don't use it that much, um, just because it's very square, and I like more of a round brush for cheeks. Um, the next thing I did was, after being makeup-free mostly all of the day, I. Um, I did want to step up my game a little bit when it came to highlight and contour, so I did pack my new Tarte Pro Glow Kit, which is a new love of mine. It's really pretty and it just makes me so happy. Uh, so I used, um, let's see here, smaller brush and one of the matte powders, and I went right under my blush in a circular upward, sort of up and out motion and um, just kind of blended and blended and blended until I did not see a line anymore and um, again I was trying to be super fast because the boys were waiting for me to get some food every night so I was trying to hurry up um, so next what I would do is um, take a little bit of uh, a highlighter color and I would use the lit just go right up in here and then I'd go right underneath my brow bone you never want this color to be too like white it's very dating when it's more, like a frosty whitish color I hate that um, so I did not even pack eyelash curlers um, if I had, I would have used them now, um, but I didn't. So, um, so actually, what I'm gonna do is go in with a little bit of the nude palette, and um, and what I did most of the time was 
I did a little bit of a uh, lighter color on the inside from this palette. This one is like the pinkier one just because I have lots of pink in my skin. And then for the rest of it I did some bronze. Just because it was evening and I wanted to really highlight my eyelids with, you know, I'm getting a lot of sun. I wanted to have I wanted it to have more of a bronzy look. So then I would just blend that in. And so I kept it very light. Some nights I would switch up the colors, but I always just kept it to two colors, one on the inside and one on the rest of the lid. So next I would use my um, pencil, which is the Urban Decay Glide On 24-7 pencil, which I love because it's super soft and it stays on really well. And I would literally just go in under my eyelashes just to give them some thickness and volume look like it just when you go in that um that line under your lashes it really thickens them up and makes them look especially when you have light eyelashes makes them look really thick so after that I would go I, I brought my little um, baby size superhero it cosmetics mascara and I would just start at the base of my lashes and wiggle the brush out. And create a very full effect. And I also brought Q-tips because if I ended up getting a little smudge, I can easily wipe it away. I would be lost without Q-tips. Okay, so that was my eye makeup most nights. And um, then all I would do was apply my lipstick and I'd say, alright guys, let's go. Um, but most um, days, I will show you guys, I had this really cool new purchase right before we left for vacation. It was the Stila, um, it's the Magnificent Metals Glittering Glow. And this was just kind of like a fun impulse buy. Um, and I will show you guys. It is like super metallic-y. And I definitely don't recommend it for mature skin or anyone who has like hooded eyes or anything. but. It's hard to tell. It was very it's very like bling on my eyelids. And so I would use this some days um with no other makeup on, just on my eyelids because um it was just fun and it's vacation and it's just kind of good to step out of the box sometimes. And my middle son told me I look like a mermaid when I wore it. So I told him I will wear this every day because you said I look like a mermaid. <laughs> So this was also something I packed and I was really glad because it was just kind of fun. Alright. So when it came to lips, I really only packed uh, one product and that was the Dior um, lip that I've talked to you guys about before. Uh, it just goes on really easy. This is Dior Kiss, number 578, and it's just a really great summer color for me. Um, it's high shine, feels great on my lips, it's not sticky, my hair doesn't get stuck in it. So. Um, I would just put this on, and actually I did wear this even when I didn't have makeup on at the um, beach in the pool. And uh, that's it. That was my look uh, almost every night. Sometimes I would go in with a darker powder and an angle brush and kind of go up on the ends, which I can show you guys. So it would be, this isn't an angle one, but this is one of my thicker, more dense brushes. And I would just take a little dark powder and uh, just kind of brush it in there at the edges.
And if that, that's what I would do if I wanted to change the look up a little bit. But, you know, it's vacation. I really didn't want any hard lines or anything like that. So, that was that.